Hello everyone, so I'm making kobe today and I'm just gonna freeze it and whenever I'm ready to fry it, I'll get it out of the freezer and fry it. So I soaked three coffee cups of um, burgol with about five cups of water for about three hours and I have my beef ready. So I used about five pounds total, two pounds for the stuffing, which I chopped um, small to small pieces and I cook it in clarified butter, stir regularly until it's done and it has no juice on it. And then I will add the salt, pepper and all spice to it and then the onions. So I usually cook this while I chop the onions um, and just keep stirring occasionally. I use a lot of onions, so I probably used five large ones and I just dice it fine. I save some of it to mince and add to the burgol, but I use a lot with my stuffing because I think it makes it taste good and it keeps the meat um, soft and moist. Now, the about three pounds, which is the rest of the beef, I mince it in my food processor really, really fine and add it to the burgol. And then after that, I mince about one head of onions that I saved and I will um, mince it also in my food processor. Um, some people grate it and then I add it to the burgol and um, meat mix and then I would add my seasonings and mix it really good and then start making it you know shaping it into a football shape um, so I'm adding salt pepper all spice and then mardakosh or marjoram that makes it taste really good and then finally cumin and then i would knead it really well mix it really really well um, before i start shaping it When it's all mixed well, I'm going to take most of it and put it in the fridge because I don't like to be working with that much um, raw, raw meat in, in room temperature. So I just put most of it in the fridge and I just keep a little bit so I can work with and um, gradually I get it out of the fridge and continue working. So here I'm just shaping them to the traditional normal shape looks like a football a small one so I take a, a piece little bit larger than a walnut and then carve it and add the stuffing to it and then I make sure it's smooth after I shape it um, with water with cold water I kind of run my fingers over it to make sure it's smooth and I place it on parchment paper or wax paper in a pan and put it in the freezer for a few hours then take it out and put it in plastic bags and ziploc bags and put it in the freezer I have another video where I showed you how I fry the kubbe, so I didn't do that here. 
I can link that video to this one so you can see the whole thing. You don't want to make it as fast as I make it. <laughs> Just kidding. So there it is. They're all stacked on a pan on parchment paper and they go to the freezer. And then I put them, so I, I think each pan takes, has 24 pieces. And so now I took him out of the freezer after they froze. So it's easy to have them individually frozen and just take it out perhaps half an hour before you want to fry them and you can fry them frozen and they come out to be perfect when you need them enjoy